Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I realize that my hair is frizzy. We don't gotta talk about it. You don't understand my struggles. Okay, thank you. For this week's video, I'm going to be doing a video that is pretty popular here in the trans community. I'm going to be reacting to some of the most popular anti-trans memes. I almost just said TikToks because of my video a few weeks ago, but no, we are going to be reacting to memes today. If you guys don't know what a meme is, I don't really know what to tell you. I don't know how to explain what a meme is. Literally just Google it. I just tried to think of like a way to explain it, but no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that. I don't have time. Also like who doesn't know what a meme is? Like girl, it's a meme. I post videos here on my channel every single Thursday. So make sure that you guys subscribe if you are not already and turn on your post notifications so that you know when I post a new video. I don't know what all of this shit is. Calm down girl. With no further ado, let's get right into this week's video. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I want to pick like a relatively like rare or like uncommon meme for the first one because like I don't want to just do one that everybody else reacted to also, you know? I haven't seen one like this, so we'll start with this one. You see a girl in bed with a guy. She looks bomb, by the way. Hey girl, makeup on point. She says, I have a confession. I used to be a Christian. And the guy says, doesn't worry me, babe. The job, you know what I mean? Okay. And then afterwards she says, awesome. I much prefer being a Christine. And you can just see like his face is like, oh fuck. I mean, it's, <laughs> girl, you really can't think of a better punchline than the girl used to be a boy. Really? That's weak. That is so weak. I don't even know what to say about this one. I just, jokes like this really lead into that whole toxic masculinity frame where like you can't date somebody that used to be a boy and that, you know, it's something to be ashamed of, something to freak out about. That's what the joke is here, that he's freaking out that she used to be a boy. It's stupid. Come on now. It's not cute. And by the way, she's way out of his league. Like, anyways, anyways. Okay, here's the next one. Our girl, Caitlyn Jenner. I don't really care what your opinion on Caitlyn Jenner is. You either like her or you don't. A lot of trans people don't like her, but that's not really relevant for looking at this meme and talking about it. Believe in something, even if it means cutting off your dick or cutting your dick off. As somebody that has had like bottom surgery, you know they don't just cut it off, right? Like it's not just like a quick little, hold on, I got scissors right here. It's not just like a quick little, that's not how it works. Like, Google it. There's plenty of videos. There's plenty of like education tools, like educate yourself. That's not what they do. They flip it inside out, if you must know. Next one, we have our homegirl, Jeffree. We have our homegirl, Jeffree Star. The meme says, what trans people think they look like. And it's a picture of Jeffree. And then it says what they actually look like. And it's a picture of a little boy in a dress. I've also seen versions of this meme where it's like, what trans people think they look like. And it was a picture of, I think like Nikita and then what they actually look like. And it was somebody that was in the early stages of their transition. You know, whatever. First of all, Jeffree Star is not even trans. Get your facts straight. Hope I don't look like Jeffree Star, shit. No offense to you. Actually, isn't he like in trouble right now? I don't know, maybe he should take a finish. Here's the next one. It's a tweet of some girl at you, Aria Hovo. You know what's up. She says, trans women are women over and 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 over. And then this person replies to it and says, get pregnant then. Wow. What's that sound from like the minions or something that they're all like, wow. Like in awe, but like, sarcastic, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Wow. I'm pretty sure the statistics for it are like one out of every 10 cisgender women can't get pregnant. So like, are you calling them not real women? They were fully born with like uteruses, vaginas, the whole, the whole works. But for whatever reason, they can't get pregnant. So they're not women anymore. Your logic is flawed, homeboy. Get it together. Here's the next meme. I think that the top part of it is a pro trans meme and then the bottom part was like a reaction part. So the top says, fight bigotry. 98% of straight men are unwilling to date trans women because of hatred. I'm not really sure it's because of hatred, but that's for a different video. I think you guys already know my opinion on straight men dating trans women. If not, I can make a whole video about it if you want. Just let me know. This boy at the bottom says, well, she's a guy. So I think I've seen this. I don't, isn't that from like the State Farm commercial? where the wife is like, well, she sounds hideous. And he's like, well, she's a guy. So State Farm would be very upset with you. State Farm is LGBT friendly. I know that for a fact, but I went to an LGBT conference this last year. State Farm was there, they were supporting. So you wrong, Peach. This is the next one, nice and red. Saying that straights make gay babies is the equivalent to a doctor saying to a woman after giving birth, congratulations, it is a smoker. Penny, what? I'm just gonna finish. You are not born gay. Everyone is straight by design. This like gives me like very religious vibes. This gives me very like Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Very, very much not cute. Yeah. Y'all are just dumb. <laughs> you can, I don't even know what to fucking say. You are not born gay. Yes, you are. 
You are born gay. You think somebody would choose to be transgender? You think somebody would choose to be gay? You are sorely mistaken, buddy. Sorely. Here's the next one. It says, what's your problem, you little bigot? Haven't you seen a lady pee before? The kid says, mommy, that's not a lady. And then the mom says, shh, we aren't allowed to speak the truth anymore. First of all, I feel like this has some racist undertones. I won't say anything else to it, but like, anyways. Second of all, who's sat on that mom's head? She does not look okay. Third of all, why is the toilet just like out in the open? That's not like how that works. And also why does the women's room say women on the inside? I feel like that's not really necessary. So this is just a stupid ass motherfucking meme. Y'all don't know how to make accurate memes. Being a trans person, I've been in many, many bathrooms. I've seen many little girls in bath. That sounds kind of bad, I won't say it like that. You know, I've been washing my hands, leaving the bathroom and I see a mom and a child come in to use the bathroom, do their thing. And they don't like look twice. They don't bat an eye. I think that's for a couple of reasons. I think one, I don't look like this person looks. I don't think most people going in women's bathrooms look like this person looks. Second of all, nobody, <laughs> I never like had my stuff hanging out just like peeing for everybody to see. It just doesn't happen like this. Moving on. <laughs> this one I kind of like because it's just like ironic to me. The one thing I love about conservative women is that you never have to ask, is that a woman? Like, are you sure, bitch? And also there are plenty of trans women out there that are conservative. So it's like, what? What do you mean? Huh? Oh, this one's from The Princess Bride. I love that movie. I watched it so many times when I was a little kid. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Love that movie. When a trans person expects me to use their preferred pronouns. And then it's a picture of the grandpa reading the story and it says, you're sick, I'll humor you. <laughs> My thing is like, gender dysphoria is a medical condition. So like saying, you're sick, I'll humor you. is like kind of accurate. You're not wrong, I am sick, shit. <laughs> I do suffer with gender dysphoria. Yes, I had to undergo medical and social intervention to ease this medical condition. But I feel like the thing that the person that made this meme doesn't understand is that the treatment for this illness, for this sickness, as they're referring to it, is literally transition. Like, I'm sorry that I was born with gender dysphoria, but like, I'm doing my best to survive. You're just gonna make fun of me for that? It's just kind of messed up. But again, I love the Princess Bride, so it's fine. The next one, I don't know who this man is. He looks kind of familiar, but again, I don't know who he is. But it says, I too was once a male trapped in a woman's body, but then I was born. Cue minion sound again. Wow. You're so funny. You're so funny. You're so funny. It must be so nice to not know how it feels to be trapped and, you know, suffocated and stuck in a body that isn't yours. I don't know. I just think that that is a privilege that you should not take for granted. <laughs> Moving on. This one grinded my gears kind of a lot just because it's so like not accurate to what actually happens in real life. And I feel like when you're making memes like this, they're going out to a very specific population and they're influencing that population's views on, you know, whatever the topic of the illustration is. And this is just not real. You're making people think that kids transitioning or kids expressing their gender is a bad thing when in reality, like this is, it's not, it's not a bad thing. And like this shit doesn't happen. It says, mom, I'm an astronaut. And the kid's dressing up as an astronaut. And then it says, I'm a dinosaur, dressing up like a dinosaur. And then it says, I'm a princess. And then the next slide, she brings him to the doctor to have his, you know, to have his snip snip, whatever. <laughs> that kid is probably like, what, five, four, three, six, I don't know. Definitely way, way, way below the age that anybody would be getting surgery. In most countries, including the most progressive countries, you can't get hormones, you can't get blockers, anything like that until you are 12 or 13. And it's extremely, extremely rare for people under 18 to have gender confirming surgeries. So like this just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Even in this hypothetical situation, like say that kids do get surgery. They don't just w wake up one day saying I'm a princess and then go in the next day. They go through years and years of therapy and make sure that surgery is the last, last, last resort. This one says too young to choose bedtime, old enough to choose gender. This one kind of goes along with like that one that was all red and says like, nobody's born gay. Nobody chooses what their gender is, you know what I'm saying? I repeat this over and over and over and over and over again to people, but people simply choose to be themselves, to be happy, to let themselves be free. And that's true even in young children. Most of the time in young kids, they haven't been super confined to certain gender roles. So they're more comfortable expressing, you know, their true gender identity. So once those gender roles and policing of the gender starts to take place, they're going to be a lot more aware of how it's affecting them. Because all of a sudden, they're not allowed to do the things that feel right to them. They're not allowed to do the things that they like. To say that something that comes naturally to a child is a choice is just like reaching. Like, how do you know? They're literally a kid. Why would they make this up? 
Like simply why? This one actually kind of goes along with that last one. It says, a six-year-old transgender child is like a vegan cat. We all know who's making the lifestyle choices. I feel like this is such a popular like narrative. So many people think that trans kids are being forced to transition and they're being forced to be transgender, blah, blah, blah. No. I'm not gonna say that that's never happened because you know, never is a very strong word. It could have happened, I don't know. But in the majority of trans kids, it's the kid that is like, listen, this is who I am. This is what I need to do. And the parents are just respecting that and kind of just like going along with it. That can kind of sound bad. They're just going along with it, whatever. But you have to realize that when you're transitioning at that young age, you're not gonna be going on any medications. You're not gonna be going through surgery or anything like that. Transition is purely at a social level. So say if this child, by the time they reach puberty, grows out of this gender dysphoria, there would be no permanent changes to their body and they can simply just detransition socially because that's the only steps that they've actually taken. I have a few friends that transitioned when they were really young and they said that they literally would not be here today if they were not allowed to transition at that young age. They knew so strongly who they were that they could not imagine life continuing if they could not be true to themselves. How are you going to tell me that a child should not do what's right for them when it literally is life or death? The cons of transitioning at that young age, like you have a girl name, your body doesn't change at all, you have no surgeries, you have no hormone intervention, you're simply just alleviating that social dysphoria that you might feel versus forcing your child to remain as the gender that they were assigned at birth. This causes immense dysphoria, not only socially, but once they hit puberty, it will force their body to start developing in ways that are consistent with their, you know, birth sex. And that can create so many, so many, so many problems for trans people. For example, for me, most of my dysphoria comes from things that changed after I hit puberty. It's the effects that testosterone had on my body that make me the most uncomfortable. And if I had started hormone blockers or whatever before I hit that male puberty, none of these things would have happened to me. I never would have had to have my Adam apple removed. I wouldn't feel dysphoric about my face all the time. I wouldn't feel dysphoric about anything. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously I might still have my bottom dysphoria because puberty blockers aren't really gonna change anything like that, but y'all know what I'm saying. I gotta continue, I'm getting so serious. I feel like this is not supposed to be such a serious video. I'm like going like this, all this, my phone is sideways, I'm trying to unlock it. This one pissed me off because I love The Office and like how dare you make The Office into a transphobic meme. I'll come for you, bitch. It's two sheets of paper. One says, gay men being given estrogen, estrogen, I can't speak right now, as a form of conversion therapy in the 1950s. And the other one says, gay men being given estrogen as a form of conversion therapy in the 2010s. And then the meme is, corporate needs you to pick the difference between these two pictures. And it's, it's the same picture. This is really sick to me, to be honest with you, because conversion therapy is a huge problem, even still to this day in the United States. Gay people have been tortured in conversion camps and like comparing that to, you know, medical treatments for trans people, not okay with me. <laughs> Gay men being given estrogen, obviously that's not gonna help them. They're men. Men do not wanna have excess estrogen in their bodies. The second part, gay men being given estrogen as a form of conversion therapy in the 2010s. If that's still happening, if gay men are still being given estrogen, that's a problem. They should not be having to deal with that. But I think what they're referring to is actually trans women being given estrogen and just referring to them as gay men. You're so funny. You're so funny. Life would have been so much easier if I was a gay man, trust me. If I could have just been a gay man, girl. But you know, as a logical person, I realized that is not the life that I have. That is not who I am. I'm not a gay man, bitch. This is gonna be the last one because this one really pissed me off for numerous reasons and you'll see why because it's just an absolutely disgusting meme. The top part of it says, in democratic America, if this girl sees a penis at a party, it's a crime. Why are you so upset about girls thinking it's a crime to be sexually assaulted? Granted, that's I'm, I'm assuming that's what they're referring to. I'm assuming that they're not just talking about the penises out in general, because like, I don't know what kind of party has just like penises everywhere, but what I'm assuming they're referring to is a girl, you know, getting drunk at a party and then, y'all know, y'all know. The second half of the image is a little girl in the bathroom and she says, but if this girl sees a penis in the women's bathroom, it's tolerable. Can you see why this meme really pissed me off? The top part is talking about how Democrats think that if a girl sees a penis at a party, it's a crime, which it is. If a girl sees a penis that she does not want to see at a party, wherever, it's a crime. Do you know the law? Secondly, if this girl sees a penis in the women's bathroom, it's tolerable. If this little girl sees a penis in the women's bathroom, she's gotta mind her own business. She's been peeking under stalls. She's been actively searching for that penis. That's just not happening. But it really seems to me that they have like a dual agenda here. They're like, well, I should be able to show my penis to any girl I want. And also, I don't want no dudes in the girl's bathroom. Like you've got a lot of issues. I'm tired. That is exhausting. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you thought it was entertaining. I hope you got a chuckle out of how dumb these, 
I need to stop swearing how dumb these people are. We'll just call them people. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel a lot. Subscribe if you are not already and you would like to be. And yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday. Bye guys.